Revelation Fireside. August 28, 2015. A tropical storm has caused devastation on the Caribbean island of Dominica, leaving nearly 30 people dead and more than several dozens missing. Unleashing flooding mudslides and treacherous winds, knocking out 80% of the country's power and also shutting down water supplies. The streets became rivers as surging waters crashed into buildings, causing some to collapse. Rain from the storm also affected the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. The governor of Florida has declared a state of emergency and preparation, as the storm is destined to make landfall, already killing some in Cuba. John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. March 23rd, 2015. Prophecy, March 22nd, 2015. In the spirit, the Lord reveals treacherous winds in the Caribbean shortly. It is wise to take all precaution where possible. Mankind need to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty for eternal salvation, the only one who can credibly reveal things to come. John 13, 19. April 26, 2015. Revelation, April 26, 2015. In the spirit while in Jamaica, the following words are heard, wash out. Interpretation, a major flood will hit the Caribbean shortly. Mankind need to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty for eternal salvation, the only one who can credible reveal things to come. May 31st, 2015. Revelation, May 31st, 2015. In the spirit, the Lord reveals storm upon the Caribbean shortly. It is wise to take all precaution where possible. Mankind need to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, the only one who can credible reveal things to come. John 13, 19. August 26, 2015. Two television journalists were shot and killed in Virginia on Wednesday morning while conducting a live television interview, the station said. The journalists were filming a feature segment for the morning news program in a shopping plaza, when shots rang out sending them screaming and running, at the time of this horrific tragedy. We mourn the lives of these journalists and pray for the consolation and strength of their loved ones. John 13:19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. June the 30th, 2015. Prophecy. June 28, 2015. In a vision, an established journalist suffers major tragedy. It is for all to seek the Lord in this time of trouble. The Harvest Army Church International Presence. Pearls of Prophecy, a prophetic masterpiece with over 200 scriptural guidelines on how to prophesy accurately, without failure. Prophecy being the final magnet of the gospel, reveals God's will for mankind. Between the covers of this priceless pearl, you will get into the depths of the prophetic, from the reasons to prophesy, to how to receive the gift and gripping fulfillment. Prophecy, August 9th, Prophecy, Prophecy. May 10th, January 25, 2015. In a vision. Revelation, March 9th, 2014. The Lord reveals a major explosion in China. August the 12th, 2015. A massive explosion hit a dangerous goods warehouse in China. Revelation, March 1st, 2015. In the spirit, the following words are heard. France will come under attack. August 22nd, 2015. An attack on France was foiled in Paris, when a Moroccan terrorist armed with an AK-47, a pistol and a knife opened fire on a train injuring several on board. Folks, Ebola! This warning came from the Lord. It came through prophecies that were prophesied on television to the world in New York City, they were warned at least, to Harvest Army Church International. 
Prophecy, December 8, 2013. In a dream, a, dread, a dreadful disease or plague arises from a bird-like creature or bat. It begins in the northern hemisphere of the earth, then spreads to Africa where it does much damage. Scientists have found evidence of the African Ebola virus in Asian fruit bats, suggesting that the virus is far more widespread around the world than had been previously known. Pearls of Prophecy is now available at HarvestArmy.org, Amazon and Zulonvest.com. Get your copy today. And now, the New York City Harvest Army Corral.
today's sermon, A Great Shift, Part 3 and Final. Christians ain't local people. That's why God said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. That's why the Bible said, for God so loved thee. Come on, somebody. It's all global. The Bible says in Joel 2.28, in the last days, I'll pour of my spirit upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Racism has no place in this shift. Racists will be whipped. God of mercy. And you didn't know that racism is, you didn't know that racism is a form of mental illness. If you come this week, I, I, I'll show you. First you hear it in your life. Woo! Racism is a form of mental derangement. And that's why when, when Miriam practiced it, God changed her skin. <laughs> Come on, somebody. God changed. Hallelujah. The tone of her skin and gave her the worst skin. To knock her mind back into normalcy. Somebody a great shift. The shift is global. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you saying amen? amen. Are you saying amen? amen? Don't worry, I'm almost finished. It's global. It's the all flesh effect. This shift, one man ministry not gonna do well in it. If God promotes, you gotta promote somebody. If God give you an opening, you got you to open it for somebody too. You got you to gotta promote a group and promote one person. Come on, say amen. Amen. This shift is an all flesh shift. Hallelujah. Say amen. Say amen. Last week I saw as the, as the, the, the focus on the family. Anybody heard about them? This is the biggest religious organization in the world. In Christendom, focus on the family. And I saw them as they allow some children to preach for God so loved the world. The children did not only preach for God so loved the world, but they preached the extended version. Come on, somebody. For God and they talk about God. So love the world and they talk about the world. It means that they are catching. If you look in the night, our book is right there. Come on, somebody from eight, nine years ago. It's right, that version is right there. And it's beginning to catch because it's not a one-man thing. It's not a two-man thing. It's not a three-man thing. It's an all-flesh thing. It's a world thing. It's a global thing. That's why God gave us the world a vision day. That's why God gave us the world. My God, somebody got it? <laughs> Amen. That's why God gave us the world vision every journey. Take your mind off the local. Say amen. Don't worry, I'm finished. In this shift, we move from segregation to integration. From, from cultural to universal. Say amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say a great shift. This great shift is number one what? Come on. Godly. Godly. Somebody say godly. Number two, gracious. Number three, grand. Number four, global. Number five, let me finish. This shift, this shift, someone said this shift. Someone said a great shift. This shift is to be guarded. Yes, this is the hard part now. But I folks don't understand. When God gives you a breakthrough in anything, you've got to guard it. If God gives you a new car, you got to pray over it. Cover it under the blood. Huh? And expel accident. Are you there? Expel danger. You got to guard it. Say amen. Remember most time when I, when, when, when I sport a club, soccer club, put a ball in the goal, they become exposed. Come on, somebody. You've got to guard it. They shift I've got to be guarded. Say amen. God is something very mysterious in the Bible. In Isaiah chapter 2, God says that 
his word is protected by the Jews. Did you know? When God sent his word, hallelujah, when God gave us the word, God did not just give us the word like that because the word is so powerful. Anybody could change it. Anybody could try and change it. Anybody could be tricky. But God gave the responsibility to preserve the word to the Jews. Can you say amen? I'm finished. Isaiah 2 and verse 3. And many shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his way, and we will walk in his path. Here the last part. Here this part now. For out of Zion, that's the Jews, shall go forth the law that's the bible and the word of god from jerusalem god chose israel god chose the jews to preserve the scriptures we have today and as god raised up this mighty move of god and as god made these shifts i hear god says you have got to be guarded i hear god says as you go global leaders do not try to do it alone if you're like me i need no help but a few years ago the lord rebuked me and said if you think you need no help you'll never reach the world for no matter how powerful you think you are you need support moses needed caleb and joshua paul needed timothy say amen Elijah needed Elijah. Say amen. Jesus needed Peter. He knew that Peter had that soul because he knows all. Come on somebody. Jesus needed the apostle. Say amen. I hear God says in this shift you have got to be guarded. There are some folks who struggle when God raised up a, a servant, an apostle or a, a global minister or a global visionary. They, they can't handle the fact that he needs or she needs support and they criticize and that's why some die by the gun did you hear what i said the president of this country is one person am i right but in order for his presidency to be effective he needs a secretary of state a personal secretary a press secretary <laughs> a secretary of defense Secretary of Education, Secretary of, of Health. Are you there? Are you with me, somebody? In his secret service. Are you there? So if you're not careful, you try to leave and say, Oh, he, who do we think he is? He got folks for supporting him. He will not live a month. He will die. The move will go down when you see God hand upon a man of God or a woman of God. Amen. To conquer the planet, you must guard him, you must guard her. You must guard that ministry. And that's missing today. And folks take ministers as bulletproof. And that's why so many died in South Carolina. Because they're not guarded. And I hear God say, this shift, this shift we're having must be guarded. Be protected. Hallelujah. Can I, can I get unspiritual? You're going to call it unspiritual. Right now, even though I'm preaching up a storm. We got armed folks right here, right now. So don't worry your brain. Nobody can come and kill a ten. You die. I lost it right there now. You say I lost it right there now. We can't tell you everything at the same time. Right now, don't worry your brain. We got armed members right now, right here. <laughs> of God must be guarded the ship must be guarded we open a church in Atlanta so so when New York go down we have somewhere to go can New York going down I don't care if you don't like me I don't care if you don't like me here come on I said New York going down is too wicked come on somebody the men cannot even sit in the train and have their foot apart they put their foot together like a girl child Come on, somebody, and God don't judge this city. Amen. So, uh, glory to God. So, because of the move of God, we have a hope in Atlanta. Come on, you ain't saying amen. 
Amen. And we, and we set up Atlanta with technology. Come on, somebody. So you have to run from New York. Amen. The move still goes on. Say amen. Yeah, I know you're very silly, but that's all right. You still don't, don't prepare yourself and be ready. But devil is a liar. And now, and now, and now we're working on a hub in Philippines. You ain't saying amen. You ain't saying amen. The man of God, the man of God, Pastor Jojo, he told me, he said, he said, he said, Bishop, I know we are the, the gateway church fellowship, whatever. And we have so many churches, but God tell me to hand over one to harvest on me. That's the hub. Ah! The shift must be guarded. Protected. Some people must be willing to give their very life for the shift. It's a prophetic shift. It's a revelation shift. It's a visionary shift that is about to confound man. Confound every religion. Even the very Vietnamese government. Come on, sir. subscribe to the channel. Come on, because they want to know, hallelujah, what's coming next. That's why God says in the last days, I'll pour off my spirit. Tonight, if you're here and you're not saved, you need to be saved. For the shift, things are about to change. It will not be the same. Tomorrow is promised to no man. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. If you're not saying, just say, I am without one plea to other that love. we're going to pray with you you need to be in the shift things are going to change when you're ready it will not look the same it's about to change come right now come to Jesus will you come will you come shift this gracious shift this grand shift what's the fourth one again what's the fourth one again what this global shift and it's guarded shift if you plan to be in it just draw to the hand we won't let you go quickly just come right hello Come and let God, let God work on you. Let God prepare you for this. Yes, Lord. Uh, he shall have shown thee new things in this time. Even hidden things. Some new things are about to happen. God is about to visit. Every day, God speaks to vessels around the world to prophesy and prove Him as God. But many times, those vessels are not the popular names of Christian ministry. 
For this reason, it becomes difficult to warn people of God's word without worldwide access. God said in his word that he would prove himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through his servants. On harvestarmy.org, prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our revelations page every day. The website is www.harvestarmy.org. That's www.harvestarmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.